When we think about what happens after we die, burial is often the first thing that comes to mind. But cremation is becoming increasingly common. Cremation uses intense controlled heat to transform a body into ashes, offering a practical, meaningful alternative to burial. This method has deep roots in cultures worldwide and provides flexibility for families. Ashes can be kept, scattered, or even turned into art. Many choose cremation for its simplicity and the freedom it offers beyond traditional cemetery plots. The process is managed by professionals in specialized facilities, ensuring dignity and respect at every step. Understanding how cremation works can replace fear with clarity, helping families make informed choices. It's not a chaotic fire, but a precise scientific process. Cremation is about transformation, a final physical change handled with care. By exploring each step from arrival at the crematorium to the preparation of ashes, we can better understand this modern farewell. It's a journey from human form to elemental remains, offering new ways to honor a life. Let's walk through that journey together. Cremation starts with paperwork and legal permissions, ensuring everything is done according to the family's wishes and the law. The deceased's identity is verified, and any medical devices that could be hazardous are removed. The body is placed in a simple, combustible container, often a cardboard or wooden box. A metal ID tag accompanies the body throughout, guaranteeing the ashes returned are the right ones. The container is moved into the cremation chamber, or retort, preheated to over 1,400 degrees Fahrenheit. The intense heat, not direct flames, reduces the body to bone fragments over two to three hours. The process is closely monitored by trained operators for safety and accuracy. What remains are not fine ashes, but larger porous bone fragments. This marks the end of the thermal process. Every step is designed for respect, safety, and precision. The transformation is complete, but the journey isn't over yet. The cremation chamber is a high-tech oven lined with heat-resistant bricks, built for safety and efficiency. Powerful burners fueled by natural gas or propane generate the necessary heat. The chamber's thick locking door and advanced exhaust system ensure safety and environmental responsibility. Operators are highly trained, following strict protocols to maintain dignity and prevent any mix-up of remains. During cremation, superheated air, not direct flames, breaks down the body. Modern retorts often have a secondary chamber to burn off remaining gases, keeping emissions clean. After cooling, the operator sweeps out the bone fragments and ID tag into a tray. Everything is carefully collected and kept together. The chamber is cleaned before the next cremation, ensuring no remains are ever mixed. The process is as much about respect as it is about science. The remains collected are not soft ash but brittle, grayish-white bone fragments. Any metal implants are removed and recycled. The bone fragments are placed in a cremulator, a machine that grinds them into a fine sand-like powder. The final ashes are mostly bone minerals, weighing 4 to 8 pounds for an adult. The processed remains are placed in a temporary container with the ID tag for confirmation. Families are notified when the ashes are ready for pickup. Cremated remains are inert, containing no DNA or organic matter, and are safe to keep or scatter. Understanding what ashes truly are helps demystify the process. This is the last physical remnant of a person, transformed and simplified. The journey of the body ends here, but remembrance continues. People choose cremation for many reasons, cost, environmental concerns, and flexibility among them. Cremation is often less expensive than burial and has a smaller environmental footprint. Ashes are portable, allowing families to keep, divide, or scatter them in meaningful places. Memorial services can be held anywhere, at any time, giving families more options to honor their loved one. Ashes can be kept in urns, placed in columbaria, buried or scattered, each choice reflecting personal wishes. The process offers freedom from the constraints of traditional burial. Ultimately, cremation is about honoring a life in a way that feels right for those left behind. The method may differ, but the goal is always dignity, respect, and love. What matters most is how we remember and celebrate the person who has passed. The story doesn't end with ashes, it lives on in memory.